welcome to a new video. So today I'm in the studio for a sitter session with a little boy. He is nine months old. Um, so we're gonna go for this decor first. Um, then I have the dark wooden decor, which is over there. And then I'm gonna change this decor to like the creamy white decor and the mint green, unless she wants to have more like bricks and woods, cause then we'll go to that. Um, I have tons of uh, backdrops now, so I will ask the mom during the session what she likes, so I think this is really cute to start with. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for some behind the scenes and some uh, final images. So yeah, because he is like eight months, he's actually almost nine months, or already nine months, I don't know. Um, I don't know how well he'll be sitting yet, so I will have like the blankets ready so he can like lie on his tummy, lie on his back, grabbing his feet. If he can sit by himself, he can sit on the little blanket by himself. Um, if he doesn't sit unsupportedly yet, I do have like props where he can sit in. Um, so I have some things ready, but it, with this age, I never know if they can sit yet by themselves and how well they're sitting. Uh, sometimes they're already like standing and walking. No, well not eight, nine months probably, but maybe uh, definitely crawling and we'll never know. So yeah, as I'm waiting for the little boy to come in with his mom, maybe his big sister, I don't know, he has a four year old sister. Um, I thought I'd share something personal as well, because uh, you might not follow me on Instagram and I shared it there, but um, we're getting married. So uh, a week and a half ago, my boyfriend proposed. Uh, it was really cute because he kind of like set it up together with the kids, which I really loved. It was this really fun car and you could do like a tour and you had to like follow a, like a route kind of. So halfway we had a spot and it wasn't too warm, but it was okay, it was not raining, it was sunny. Um, and then he went down on one knee and he proposed, it was so cute. And then we had a lovely picnic together. I said yes, by the way, uh, we're so excited. So now uh, it's time to make some wedding plans. And um, yeah, it was all just very cute. It was like, I loved it. it. It was exactly the way I would have wanted it, like small, intimate, just with the four of us. We're engaged now. Uh, and now I'm so waiting for the clients to come for a beautiful sitter session, but I thought I'd let you know and share. And um, yeah, now it's fun because we have some wedding planning to do and maybe sometime next year in May, uh, usually like April, May, June, those are like lovely months. You can never know what the weather will be like in the Netherlands. It can be raining, it can be like freezing, but usually May, June is already warmer and sunnier. And I would love like a small, intimate wedding yeah stay tuned if you want to see some wedding prepping on instagram and um super excited can't wait um so yeah okay i have to go to the bathroom okay so let me see what can i already share because i love sharing some of that preparations so one thing that i have made is this uh cake topper um it's made of really thin wood so i'm not quite sure if it will stay like this because yeah the wedding is not until next year and it's very thin very delicate wood uh, so I just have to put it somewhere where it doesn't get damaged but it's it's a really cute uh, cake topper with our names and so yeah as far as like ring box I have this one with our names so here you see it open so it's like connected here and then you can kind of like open and close it so it's quite easy for the kids uh, if maybe they come forward with the rings um, if it's like close like this the rings won't really fall out so it has our names and I think it's really pretty because I like this style of like the botanical um, elements uh, normally I don't really like burning candles just because of all the toxics that come out of it unless you have like soy candles or something but uh, I saw this thing on Pinterest where they have like a glass um, bottle with some water inside and then eucalyptus and then they have like a candle inside and I quite like these so I saw them I think they're really cute I love just pieces of like slices of wood and then with little vases on it but I think the venue will take care of that but I thought I would bring one from the stores I really like hoops with like eucalyptus on it and I already bought this like a long time ago just keeping it separate for like the wedding Style. let me just put it together I got a leash <laughs> for the dog something completely different but um, and it's already a little bit dirty because we used it for during a photo session but to have to wash it 
I like this color green and it's like a short leash so she doesn't have to uh, if she's in the photo session which she will be in some photos at least she'll be at the wedding so then she has this um, we have this leash for her um, so yeah um, but anyway so this is the save the date and then the envelopes and the stickers we already showed you but now you kind of see what it looks like together but we like lots of eucalyptus and botanical things but this is what I have now um, and we actually went dress shopping I didn't buy a dress yet I don't know really what well I do have a type of dress in my head which I really like I'm not quite sure yet so I'm not showing the dress that I might pick I'm just showing, showing all the dresses that I'm not going to pick um, but it was really fun to try them on so let's go to that okay so today we're going uh, wedding dress shopping just wearing like shorts and a t-shirt uh, but I am bringing a dress which you could have seen in one of the videos uh, it's one of the like sample dresses that I got for uh, some models like making a YouTube video but I could pick the dress myself so I picked this dress because I really liked it um, didn't think I would wear it as a wedding dress of myself but I did order it based on my body measurements uh, because I could give them measurements and they would custom make the dress because if maybe I would have chosen the standard size it would have been too short in the Netherlands people are quite tall I'm 1 meter 77 centimeters so I wanted it to hit the floor uh, and it's from Asia so I thought if I would order a standard dress it might be too short so I did custom made based on my measurements but it doesn't fit exactly especially around my waist it's just a little bit too wide um but i can i mean i can wear it uh so i did just have to like alter it to make it smaller so this is an option that i might wear this dress but i took off um a lot of the beading there's still some beading on there but i'm considering taking that off as well because i don't really like that mark that mark i don't know if you can see there were like loafers on there as well or no they were like these they were the, these fake diamonds on there so i took them all off so they're still like loose thread but i'm also thinking about taking the beading off um and for the rest i really like it so i emailed the shop that i might have a dress i want to wear but i want to see if they have other options as well that i can fit and maybe i will decide to wear a completely different dress or I want to ask them if they can alter it for me. So that's, she said, that's fine. Just bring the dress. And my mom is coming. My future mother-in-law is coming. My future sister-in-law is coming. And my daughter. Uh, we could actually only come with four persons max. But my daughter could come. So um, five of us. Uh, we're going dress shopping. And trying on some dresses. And we, I might film a little bit. So let's go. Okay, so we're back home from trying on the wedding dresses and I actually took off <laughs> the beading which came off really easily because it was kind of like an application that, that I can just take off. Now this one is like loose so it needs to like have a tiny stitch here. But yeah, now after trying all these beautiful dresses, I'm just so confused. I couldn't pick one yet, uh, which was fine. Like 
the lady from the store she was so considerate and so relaxed and um, honest and just yeah she had beautiful dresses um but yeah she's in wolfega and her store is uh charlotte's bruidshoeve so if you're looking for a wedding dress i can highly recommend her i just i can't pick yet pick yet um so yeah it's a beautiful dress the one that i have but i also love the dresses where you had like this flowing chiffon skirt i really like that i love the long sleeves as well so now i just don't really know what to do anymore so yeah i can always call her to let her know what my decision is i can come back if i want to try on one or two more dresses uh she didn't take my measurements yet but yeah it's on the way to the <laughs> supermarket pretty much her store so i can always just uh, pop over i just want to think about it a little bit longer so yeah this was my uh wedding dress uh shopping trip and i loved it and i have this one but i don't know what to do yet so um stay tuned <laughs> boy he was just smiling pretty much the whole time super super adorable and cute um i let them pick the course so it was all great and um he could kind of like sit by himself not really so the mom would stay really close and have her arm like right behind him pretty much um everything went well and he could sit in the bamboo crib and in the other basket he really liked that uh, because he wasn't crawling yet, he stayed on his tummy, so we could take photos on his tummy. He actually stayed on his back as well, like grabbing his feet, which at this age, sometimes they don't do anymore because they'll just immediately roll over and then uh, start crawling away. So it was perfect. Uh, he was smiling so much. We actually did the whole session, I think, in like 40 minutes. Uh, I always reserve an hour. Um, sometimes, well, usually it's between like 45 minutes and an hour that we are shooting for a sitter session that's including all the four outfit changes and maybe a clean diaper in between and the decor changes so we always have some time left and i tell them yeah if the baby needs a break wants to have a little drink whatever uh something to drink then we can always take a little break we're in no rush i always have an hour after the session anyway before the next thing that i have scheduled so um taking it easy taking it slow enough but also fast enough so the baby still likes it so yeah if i know i have enough for every decor then we'll just continue to the next so sometimes the decor is only on there for like three four minutes and then i have like five six seven eight super cute photos in different poses with hat without the hat on the tummy on the back uh, like sitting like a close-up of the face so um sitter session doesn't have to take too long uh, and then you have like a gallery full of photos 
so it was great so thank you so much for watching have a lovely day um you can follow me on instagram maybe comment something and i'll see you in the comments or on instagram uh thanks for watching